Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing the name game book tag. So I wasn't tagged uh, by anybody on this, but I recently saw Boiled Jellyfish do this video. And then I was like going back and watching. So Boiled Jellyfish was tagged by Shelf Centered. Uh, I was tagged by Treebeard's book reviews. And so I watched a few of these. I'm like, this one looks pretty fun. Uh, it looks pretty simple. So I figured I would give this one a go. So I'll link all three of their videos uh, who also did this too, uh, that I watched and enjoyed because they were fun to watch. And then let's jump into it. So, of course, my name is not super long uh, with Nico, so I'll be going through, uh, and I saw it kind of varied how people did it, but I'm, I'm going to do a book that I have read and a book that I want to read and kind of go that route um, in order to, to give this a little bit more content. So let's jump in. So for N, a book that I have read, uh, we are going to go with Nightfall by Daniel Barnett, because... I loved this book. Uh, the first six books ending with Lily were absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait for the second arc. Uh, but this book just really, really set the, the bar very, very high and, and pulled me in right away, uh, which still is kind of surprising because it's not really my thing normally. But uh, The Nightmare Life Chronicles starting here are an atmospheric horror and it follows uh, John and other characters. But John, who is basically on a quest to find his daughter, uh, all the way across the U.S. after uh, night just descends and there's no more light. And it gets uh, more like horror elements as it goes down along too. But just the characters are so strong and the narrative and just the, the creepy atmosphere is super great. Uh, so definitely a book that I love. Uh, and I, I will most certainly be rereading all of the first six once the next arc comes out. So then for a book that I want to read still, I had to go with The Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. Uh, this is my most anticipated uh, Discworld book because this is supposed to be, and there are some after this, but this is supposed to be like the pinnacle of the Watch books or the Guards books, whichever way you refer to them. I still have a while to go in publication order uh, before I get to this, but I'm getting closer. I'm really, really excited. I love the watch books. Guards, Guards is great. Most people uh, will recommend starting with Guards, Guards because it's so good. Men at Arms, which is the next in the the Guards watch like subset, uh, was even better. It became my favorite Discworld book I've read so far, so I absolutely cannot wait uh, to get to Night Watch and kind of uh, get to this part at least, because I'm assuming it's going to be quite fantastic, but I'm going in publication order, so I've got some time yet to go. So then for I, I went with a book I haven't talked about in a while and I've never heard anyone else talk about, but that is In the Eye of Heaven by David Keck. So this is the first in a trilogy, which actually never really got a name. It's called Tales of Duran now is kind of what they went with when they released the third book. Um, but this is a one of those uh, books and series in general that I just feel like I've never actually seen anybody talk about. I found the first two books um, completely randomly um, and, or at least the first one, I don't remember, it's, it's been so many years at this point, I know I at least found the first one, randomly, at like a, a thrift store or something, years ago, I read it, really liked it, uh, thought it was pretty good, read the second book, also thought it was really good, and then started looking for the third book, and found out that the third book had not come out, and this was a, a series where, like, the third book didn't come out for, like, ten years after the second book, by that point, the first two were out of print, uh, and then uh, Tor did a whole re-release with the third book and uh, came out with paperbacks. Uh, I have all the hardcovers, though, which I still like, even though the art is different. Uh, but this is like a, a gritty medieval uh, low fantasy with there's not a lot of magic in this. There is some, uh, but the magic feels almost more sword and sorcery in a way, even though I wouldn't quite categorize this as this because there's like the evil and there's kind of like uh, there's a religion, but... The, the main characters are just regular people and they don't have any sort of magic to use. Uh, and this really was interesting and follows a lot of like basically political intrigue with uh, different people in these kingdoms trying to take over. Uh, very much like your jousting and sword fighting and knights and that kind of thing. Really good. I recommend this uh, for people who like any, you know, your kind of like gritty, dark fantasy, medieval setting. Uh, definitely one to check out. And then uh, for a book that I want to read... Uh, I went with Illborn by Daniel T. Jackson. So this uh, is one I've heard a lot about, and I know uh, the people who've read it 
I specifically, Dominesh, uh, and I'll link his channel down below too, has made me really, really interested in this. And so uh, there's a, a big buddy read going on, which uh, is, I, I know, and this was mentioned in Boiled Jellyfish videos too, uh, that Andrew and Leslie were doing it for March birthdays. And I have a March birthday, so I feel like I'm required to also read this. And it was a good excuse, because this had been on my list, so I got me a copy. Uh, it's very shiny. It's I don't, I don't know how well you can tell, but it, it's very shiny. Um, and pretty cool. So I'm excited to read this. It's another self-pub one that I've been looking forward to and I've heard really, really good things. So I'm excited. Moving on to K, uh, I went with King of Thorns by Mark Lawrence and King of Thorns is book two in the Broken Empire trilogy. Uh, and I think probably my favorite. The third book was really good too, but King of Thorns was really great. Uh, this follows Jorg of Ancraft on his quest basically to come into power and just destroy anybody who stands in his way. Uh, this is uh, a really good trilogy. This and the fall of Red Queen's War were really good. And I haven't read anything else by Lawrence yet, but I'm excited to. Uh, I know this one's kind of polarizing because of the character, but the way it's written and as it expands more and more, which book two is where it really expands quite a lot. Uh, I was just, I loved uh, this book quite a lot. And so I definitely, Recommend. It is definitely uh, on the darker side uh, as well. So there is that, um, but it was really, really enjoyable uh, series. Okay, moving on to uh, the one I, I want to read. Uh, this is the only one I'm doing here that I don't have physically. I have it on my Kindle, Kings of Ash by Richard Nell. Uh, and this is also the first book, I believe, in a, a trilogy, and I forget the name of the trilogy at this point. Uh, but I, I've heard about this one for a while and I heard some mixed things but a lot of people really really liked it and the premise is definitely interesting so it's something I've been looking forward to trying uh out and so I do have it on my kindle and you know like all of these uh ones I've talked about are books that I have but I haven't gotten to yet and I know it's supposed to be like it's two differing areas and there's uh like a deformed genius character who's trying to take power and these other people trying to take power and I think it's something to do with that going back and forth uh, but it's one that, like I said, I've heard a lot of good things about. I know a lot of people have liked it, so I will definitely make sure to get to it at some point. All right, for O, and if you're looking behind me, you probably noticed it's pretty easy that's missing. I went with the obvious Oathbringer. Um, Oathbringer's book three in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. It's probably my least favorite overall book, and despite that, it's very, very good still. Uh, this one just kind of slows out and kind of starts getting things ready that are going to be coming. Uh, and then, of course, has the Sander Lanch we all know and love uh, at the end. And so still does a, a really lot of great things. Uh, and we still get a lot of uh, background on Dalinar, who's the POV flashback character in this book, which is fantastic. So despite like the fact that it is a little bit of a slower book, and it's probably my least favorite out of the four, it's still a really strong book. Uh, and so that's why I decided to go with it for here. And then for books that I want to read, starting with O, uh, I immediately had to go with Otherland, or I knew Andrew would kill me. I didn't say it. Otherland by Tad Williams, uh, also known as, as City of Golden Shadow. Mine is the old one, so it does say Otherland Volume 1, City of Golden Shadow. Um, and so uh, I have this one. And this, uh, I actually just recently, Andrew was rereading it and told me more about it. So I know it involves, to an extent, there's like a VR type game uh, that exists. But it also sounds like there's like a cabal of evil killers and all kinds of other people. And there's a lot more going on. And he was just telling me about it and made me really, really interested to read it. I've had this copy for a while, but I definitely want to get some of the nice hardcovers. Because I like the look of this too, but the hardcovers of these books are also beautiful. Uh, so it can join my, my Tad Williams uh, collection there as well. But so I'm excited to read Otherland as well. And hopefully we'll get to that before too terribly long. Of course, there's a million books I'm always trying to read. Uh, but so those are my books uh, for uh, Spelling Out My Name. Uh, hope you found that interesting. Let me know if you also love uh, some of the books I mentioned for ones that I have read and really like. Or uh, anything about the books that I still am planning to read. Uh, I'm always interested to hear your comments down below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Duo Discord. Uh, you can chat about these books, any books, really anything. It's a lot of fun, and we would love to have you. And, of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe.